Listen to the birds. Oh. Wrong button. Okay, they're loud. <laughs> Hello, folks. Mr. Raven here, and welcome back to a uh, mid week stream. Um, are you ready? <laughs> I'm sure I'm very ready. I've been having a little bit of a he he headache, and. Um, it, it's not gone a waste, even though it took some pills and stuff. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try and play through it. If I'm getting, if it's getting worse, worse or anything, I'm, I'll, I'll probably end the stream early. But let's, let's wait and see. Uh, I feel tired. I hope I'm not coming down with anything. And oh my God, I actually look tired. Never mind. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I feel fine. Um, actually, uh, well, fine, not fine. Well, work is a little weird. It's been all week. I feel like uh, I feel I feel like I'm a, a constant behind, which is a little frustrating. Um, I feel like I work all the time. All that. I work while I'm at work. We don't work a lot in Denmark. We have like seven hours day days or thirty seven hours a week. So I, I do know that there's a lot of other countries where, you know, you just work like ten, twelve hours a day uh, and doesn't complain. Um, and to way lower uh, pay than than we do and stuff like that. So it's it's not that kind of way of complaining. It's more. Um, it's more, you know, even though I work all the time when I'm there, pretty much. I have a, like a lunch break uh, in the cafeteria, uh, half an hour. Otherwise, I'm there and I'm working, um, talking, debating, have a dis discussion and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of my work. So, it, But I, I still feel like... Uh, I haven't, <laughs> I've, I've worked a lot, I've worked the, all the time, but don't feel like I'm going anywhere, that's, if that makes sense. So that's a little weird. And then we started like a debate. I talked to some of my colleagues that's been in the workplace a little longer than me. I've been there almost, well, since September, I've been there for five years. So four and a half years, roughly. I've been where I am now, and um, none of us has had an actual, you know, um, what do you call that in English? Work, uh, pay, in pay in negotiation, pay, I don't know what you call it in English, but we're negotiating uh, a pay raise. Um, and as I understand the, uh, the rules for that type of work I do, that's put up our, of our union, uh, we are in our rights to have one, uh, pay increase discussion a year. Um. And I can't remember I ever had this conversation. I've heard uh, somebody talk about, and now it's about time to have like a talk about pay raise. And then our uh, boss is, is just like, well, there's no money for pay, pay raises, so why bother? And then we laugh a little bit and then everybody just keep working. But five years without any pay raise, that's too long, if you ask me. So yeah, uh, that discussion came up, I think, uh, at the end of last week. Yeah, and I, th I feel like it's people are actually getting more and more unhappy with the thought of not having gotten any pay raise for the time. We are kind of a young team, 
Um, so, so none of us has been there more than, I think the one that's been there longest is six years. And none of us has had that talk about pay raise. So we all getting the same pay as we did six years ago or five years or four years or three years ago, depending on how long you've been there. The newest, uh, the newest of us is, has been there for a little over a year. So, yeah. So that's, that's, that's making a little bit of noise, which is, you know, it, it, it's making my head spin a little bit, you know, you're thinking about it when you're not working and you're actually getting a little frustrating about it. That's actually, that's, that's, that's actually not okay. <laughs> Just saying, Hey, we don't have money for it. So why bother? Um, so yeah, maybe that's why I haven't been sleeping well last couple of nights, but yeah, anyways, enough about me. <laughs> um, how are you go? How are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? No. Um, yeah, otherwise I'm doing fine, but let's get into it. Um, let's go to work. As a rocket scientist, I can't even remember what did we do with the drunken sailor? What did we do with the drunken sailor? I think we were, uh, we were, we, we landed on the moon. I think I can remember that now. And we actually landed just right there with our science. And then we bought some stuff. Yeah, I now remember. Um, uh -huh. Oh, I think that it's gonna be it's gonna be great today. I think my plan is to try and uh, do like an albatross uh, tree. So a new rocket um, that can do uh, a little more heavy lifting. I'm not sure. Maybe not necessarily heavier lifting than the albatross uh two if i put this here um push this button but, but, but button uh, where are you the albatross one uh no two sorry it looks like this it's a little bit of a Soyuz, uh, the Russian, a Soyuz uh, rocket inspired, um, which has like small side boosters and stuff. I don't know if they're actually doing like, they don't, they, they drop all four at the same time. I'm, I'm dropping two at a time uh, because that, re that releases some weight and we can actually go further with the same amount of fuel because we don't have to carry two boosters that we don't really need. I uh, can't remember the difference between those two. Oh yeah, this one is just straightened out. Oh, and it actually have the, uh, the upper part. It is uh, controllable even when the payload is off. So, we should probably do a little bit of the same with Albatross Tree. Um, actually, maybe I should open new, don't save, or open old one, Albatross. Wait, one, load. That's from the test flight, I think. Um, because then we can just... Maybe? Just go like that. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Let's just go like that. It's fine. Let's delete the fairing. Okay, okay. So... Signing a new rocket and testing it. Testing it. 
I don't know. So tough word. Apparently. <laughs> and let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, fairings are under here. Got a bigger fairing. That's the thing. Um, I know it's redundant having like double fairing, but <clears throat> well, okay, fair enough. I can just go like like this. Uh, see, as citrus, and then the battery. I don't really need to be. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we should go. We should go like. Um, something like that. Then remove that one. Put that one there, but we only need to of these it don't need to be anymore then we can take that one off that one off put this here Boop. um I don't know if it would make sense. Maybe not now. Maybe not ever, actually. No, it, no, this this will be, I think, primarily. What happened there? Oh, because I need one more. I don't know if I actually need eight batteries have like 200 charge each right so that's 1600 charge but eh. um mm, i'm shifting it doesn't work why not doesn't need to use the other shift apparently let's put it out there go built yeah okay still not gonna be there okay so it's fine uh stop building the bearing why is button not working i thought i used the escape for that one well never mind and let's just push it in a little bit it doesn't really matter this one is good to have there i think okay so this is the platform for this is what is going to be over in the payload. And this is the one we need right now is what we are going to build under bearing. So that's the big fuel tanks. And I think we got the big fuel tanks. Um, last time. We could go, we could try and just to go with that one and then go. Size does matter. Um, oh, oh, wow. Okay, so we need to go like that. That's a big engine, but not really, though. Do we even have an engine for that one? Uh, this one is... That's a big one. That's the Rhino. Don't even think we can... No. That's just gonna look weird. And it's too much. It's too much. It's just too much. 2000 kilonewton. That's way too much. The Master Dund. Oh, what the heck? That one we can alter to make it look like it should fit there. Actually, we should probably... 
That's still a lot. Um, the marshal is actually 1500 kilonewton. What's the, uh, that gives us like 4,000 meters per second in a vacuum. Four, four, one, three, one. So the marshal is actually more uh, fuel efficient. Just a tiny bit, a bit. Oh my God. Sorry. No, this is actually more. No, no, this is more. A 21. This is was a 42. This is one and was 42. 41. I'll take it back. This one is more fuel efficient. But it's also a lot of power. Like a lot, a lot of power. Um, the puddle is too little. Um, then we have the skipper. So we got the diff we got different uh engine types that we can use for this this stage if we want to um do we want the stage to be any bigger because how much weight can i put on this one this one weighs 42 i can't put that there well i can turn it around and then put it there so 42 ton shouldn't be a problem for this stage to maneuver around and do it rather fast, actually. Oh, we are at the Mun. Beat Kevin. No, it didn't change much, actually. Uh, it, it did actually change a lot. <laughs> a lot. Do we have anything else that have a little less weight? 70 ton? What the heck? That's a big boy. Big boy. Nope. Never mind. I'm just messing around. Um, This one has a thousand. And has a... a really big gambling... Uh, gambling? Gambling? Vector. Forty six, that's better than it's not better than this one, but this one has only six hundred kilonewton. This one has thirteen fifty, yeah. What the heck? Could go with that one. One single one, but this one I can't really change, you know, the way it looks. The way it looks. Okay. Okay, decisions, decisions. Do we even go out? Because do I even have, uh, I think I have a mount. Yeah, there it is. That does, that does fit that. And then we can go five of these, like the set on five. I can't remember if, um, actually the set on five has like three stages. And it might have the, it actually, I actually think it has that, the engine it has underneath. Wonder what's, 
What's going on? Oh my god, I'm getting so much spam mirror right now. I keep getting like a McAfee. Uh, warning, your subscription is running out. I don't have McAfee. And I keep getting it. I, I get it like two or three times a day. And I had it for the last, I don't know, 24 days or something. That's a lot of spam from the same BS. Well, I think I decided, but do we go, do we go like the Saturn five? Nah. Nah, man. Well, we can, hmm. And we can do, we can do, then it goes, then it goes a little bit something like this. Uh, hmm, do we have another one? That one maybe? No, that's more. These are the, no, that's also a smaller one. Do we even have like a... Uh, it could be like that and then in this in these in this fairing here we actually do like a transfer stage and whatever we're sending and then we do like um And we do like a, um, that's the decoupling thingy, my Bob. Crap, we don't have the big one. Why don't we have the big one? Hello, but and welcome. You're actually deserving a this one. Yes, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I was a little bit in my own mind trying to figure out how this works. If I go albatross tree here and save this. That one is probably going to disappear, but let's just save this for now. I need to go out. We're designing a uh, new uh, rocket from the bottom up. Um, a a mul multiple purpose one, one that I can use every time I put something in orbit. Um, do I get that at some point? Don't I get any bigger? Any bigger stuff? Mm, actually, doesn't seem like. Oh well, there it is. So we need five hundred and fifty science. Do we cheat five hundred and fifty science? Well, uh, you know, not cheating, cheating. Um, more. Um, you know, just let time go while we get more science. Don't know if I actually can do. Um. We still have like 580 data. So I think that could be a lot of science. Did I have 70 something? I got 4, 4.6 data from Minmus. 
Oh, from the moon. I got some more from the moon. A little bit more from the moon. 18 science. In total. I don't know if this is realistic, but it, I don't feel like it's cheating because I'm just letting time go, you know, not like really producing any thing. Uh, if you know what I mean. 300. 41 science added. We still got plenty of bad data in this uh, science because we have collected the data. You know, we're just letting time go, running, speeding it up. Probably means we're gonna miss like a tuna launch soon that we have to wait for for a long time. Hmm. That's kind of one of the. Uh, Non-benefit? What's the other word? It's not a benefit. It's the opposite of a benefit. One of the... I don't know. Can't remember the word. Sorry. Let's send the data. Uh, transfer crew? No. Transfer science? Yes. Should give get enough. Yes, please. Okay, let's speed things up. Oh, done. Yes. Let's go back. Space center. Should have about six hundred now, or more. Oh, it's dark. Let's warp to sun up. Wow, nine hundred. Just got that. I don't, don't know why. That also gives us a even bigger fairing. Should we use that fairing? I don't know. Let's just research it. Let's go back in and let's continue. Open the albatross tree, loot. No, oh, actually, that's that's the new one. Of course. And then two of these. And then this one off. This one off. One. And then this one should actually be... It's actually bigger than the tank. No, it's not. Just look like it for a second. Just for a sec. Should we go? Well, we could go that one, that one, and then that one, that one, and that one. Why? What's on the bottom? Oh, the wrong one. Bloop. That could look fine. Let's auto strut this, these. Huh. 
this, that one, and auto strong, auto strong. Bam. So, yeah. I'm actually considering doing. Mm, could actually just go like um, a little digim jigimabobs thingy. Where's that? That's uh, there. Then just go one. Because this is just going to be a tiny little lip. But put it here. here. And we can put like a probotopotopodine. And then let's take the antennas, put it there, and then lower this part. Go F. F. Um, game. Something like that. Then we can click this one, I believe. No, not like that. We can click this one and Push this one, I think. Then we should be able to remove that, and this one should be our clicking point. Then we should be able to, like, I don't know, put like an engine. There. This. Good. What engine was that? It just seems like a big radius. Was that one, I think? I feel like we got more engines than I remember. Than I remember we had. From when I played it last, of course. Um, which one was it I picked up? I think this is too small though. Oh, there it is. It's the Rhino. Oh yeah, that was the one I think is too big anyway. One big rhino. For that stage. I don't know. Maybe it's not too big. Well, I can't change it. So it's going to look weird. But I can do this now. Which means I could put this here. And then I need like. I need the longest one. Uh, where's the biggest ones? I think it's this one. No. Yes. So that one could be a rhino. That's gonna give us 75. Oh, that's a lot. I think we can put pretty big things into space with this one. Don't think 1500 is. Uh, where is the engines? There they are. Don't think we need like 2000 Newton meters. But now one of these is going to look small, right? That's a thousand Newton meters. And a really strong gimbling engine. And it kind of gives us the opportunity to have like small cube set. So we can do like a big launch and still put like communication satellites and stuff down there. Can't remember, I think I built like a small cum new communication relay thingy, didn't I? We could go like, okay, fair enough. If I got like, um, 
I don't know, actually, I think I could put like eight of these without any problems. Okay, lag. Much. Um, why? That's weird. Okay. Put it like that, maybe. don't know i don't even know if this is gonna work if you put like communication satellites like that you probably could why the mother hit not i'm talking about if i'm flying to duna you know like a beginning of a space station or something in orbit i'm not gonna do it but it could be a thing. Ah! That doesn't matter. <laughs> Seems kind of small. It is also kind of small. Because even though we don't have any weight on it, we only have like a, a thrust to weight ratio. That's too low. Don't want to go that low. Well, if I it could get into space, it would be big enough. I do have a thousand, a thirteen hundred. Which give us a little bit more. But if I put the old rocket, the old albatross is limited to about... Are we going to push it if we go 20 ton? So this one should be at least double the payload or more. Right? If I go the biggest engine we have, that is Rhino. So that one. We still don't have a lot of thrust to weight ratio. But we do have a heck of a lot more. But what if I go... Like double up. Like this. You can do that. Then we have a little more than what the Rhino gives us. And it might look a little cooler. I can always move it back out, throw it a little closer or something. Um, I think we hit the. Throw it a little more together like that. And make it go without that ring thingy. That's actually giving us enough thrust on this thing to put this thing in orbit <laughs> and take it out of orbit again in itself without any weight on it. And then, no one then. And then let's put, um, is it this one or the smaller one? Oh, these are the smaller one. So this one. If they're there, let's put these here. Let's go. Five horns. Let's move it out to here. I think it should be letting go, no problem, right? Um, how do we test that without? It's just. Can I? No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can. Yes, I can. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe we go with. Don't we have any bigger plates? Can I just save and just test that for a second there? Uh, this one should go like. This. 
goes a little bit something like that. <clears throat> okay, it's a little wobbly. Oh, I forgot to uh, activate the engine. So we actually do have gimbal. And we got plenty of... Uh, acceleration on this one. Hmm. Two, two engines should be enough to get roll, right? Why can't I roll? Don't have roll authority? Um, no, It seems fine. You can control it. So the little probadobadobadine uh, thingy is working fine. That signal. We got 800 electricity. So we only have 100 units in one battery. So 800 is a fine. It's a fine piece. Let's see here if I go surface and up. That's yeah, definitely strong enough. Fair enough. I, I think this is testing enough. The upper stage can fly. <laughs> okay, so the only thing I think I kind of want to add is just, you know, extra something that oh, that we really don't need but it's kind of cool um i might i am actually considering doing something with the solar panel somehow some way uh, maybe just, you know, for special missions, we could put like a, a solar panel here. I feel like there's, there could be, could be things that could help us if we like fly to Duna and don't want to do like a thousand um, payloads. You know what I mean? If I want to go like eight comsats to kind of do the communication do do the communication in, in in Duna sphere and then have like a big satellite that's kinda like you know sending all that communication from Duna to Kerbin. Hmm. But I don't know. It's just a thought. And it is the thought that counts, right? We can also when we get it, we can also do like uh, oh, we do have a fuel cell, actually. Oh, oh, that's a new one. Wow. Hmm. How much 
much bigger is that compared to this? Oh, it's way bigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. But I kind of like the round one better. Oh, you got an even bigger one. Well, actually, it looks pretty much the same. <gasps> oh my freaking god, I didn't know. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. It's also a thing you can like put on the side of the, uh, the booster without it, you know. And you can kind of maybe just go like, go a little bit, something like that this and then you can go like a little bit like this then you can go a little bit like uh not like that I disappeared all the way a little bit something like this come on no just there then it could be you know hey we got solar panels burr, 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 burr. It would be nice if it kind of clips, you know, the tank thing when it opens. Should I? Should I? <laughs> I don't know. How much power does these give? Can I get that? It gets uh, uh, tracking speed. Oh, it actually has tracking speed. I didn't know that. Um, electric charge 24.4 per second. How much is this one? <gasps> it's actually better. No, it's not. 8.3 8 seconds. And 8.3. That's these two are the same. Which makes sense. This one is probably also. Yeah, 8.3. 16. No, 1.6, 1.6, that's the same, 2.8, 0 0.3, 1.6, 1.6, 2.8, 1. 1. 6. oh, I didn't even know we had the, uh, this one, even bigger, nice, I don't know why I missed that, but that, I, I like that, I really like that, no, anyways, uh, should I keep those, you know, we are not, we're not paying for this rocket, you know, but I guess it's the kind of expensive. Yeah, that's that's 2800. For a stage, we're probably going to burn up in orbit pretty fast. So that's maybe a little overkill, actually. Actually, if we're burning it up anyway, this one is 440. If I take this one instead, that's like actually only it doesn't need to be retractable if I'm you know making it go down anyway oh no um give me just the one and then let's angle it Let's go for it. What the heck? Just so we have one. Yeah. That's probably going to be fine. Fine, fine, fine. We don't need to put it out there unless we need it because we have 800 power in this one. And as long as the payload has power or are connected and has power, we don't really need it. It's only if we need to like maneuver this around without the payload, then we have the option to go solar panel to help it with power because I don't know if these are generating any power. at all do it have 
power power generation can i read it out of that engine Gimbal rage, 5%. Oh, electricity charge. Yeah, this engine can actually generate power. So those can also be run. But that's going to also like our orbit. That would be weird to do that anyway. Okay, let's try and do the first stage. How big... Can we do the first first stage if we use that one? How big is big gonna be? Can I minimize this one? Yes. This one is that no. Let's go up. It's a big tank. Put that there already. Can we even just go with the vector times five? That that's five thousand. Could go with a bigger um, middle engine. Wow. Oh no. Uh, still wow. So we could go with the vector engines on the four spots on the other and up out of sight, but the mammoth. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's the strongest. That's 4,000. Well, that's actually just four vector engine, probably. So a 2,000 pound engine. How's that gonna work? Oof. And we don't we don't even have any payload on right now. And I feel like it, at least we should have the one big tank before we get to the next stage. So if we don't go vector in engines there, what do we have? We have the... <laughs> we can go five rhinos. <laughs> no. We could go the matador. And just go like the smallest one. It still fits. It doesn't poke through in any way. And it gives us a little bit more... Uh, let's put that there. Give us 1.44. We would pretty easily burn off... Um, do we have stuff here? Stuff. Uh, probably under here. That could help us just a little bit. We could go, we got a square one with four points. We could take this off and go four points. And then go like eight vectors. If it doesn't look too stupid here. Ah, can't get in. Get in. That gives us eight engines. 8,000 thrust. That's 5.5. That's of course one way of doing it. But what if I go that one? And then... On, on that one go... It doesn't make sense. I know that's only three, but... Uh, 
What if we turn this halfway? So it goes in between like that. See if there's. Oh, I think I got them all. But it's not looking great. <laughs> so that gives us a heck of a lot more. I think I need to save that and just see, because I don't know if I'm going to burn off the engines. They're too closely together. So we could just test it out here quickly. No, I don't need that one. I just need to. Make it control. Go. Let's see here. Something not going right. I didn't touch it. Why it's so unstable? Maybe if I turned off the uh, gimbal on the inside, just make the uh, four out of one gimbaled. something is wrong. What the heck? Hmm. It's not, it's not that bad. I thought it would be worse. They are clipping, 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 dipping. Maybe I could. Maybe I could raise the whole thing up, kind of like that. I can go. Let's see here. Uh, gimbal locked. Yes. Um, how do I? Apparently, I can't do that from that side. These are fine. Um, can I? Yeah, I can pull them apart a little bit here. Out making any pro. Oh, okay, that may be too far. Gotten too far. That would be okay. And if I can catch. That one, I think. And I would love to go a little more. Okay, I can't do that. Can't do that. It's not reason. Nobody's gonna watch it down here. See all that mess. Just made that till we had 
like, you know, some points to snap the engines to. Could probably do it without snapping anything else. But that's, that's not too bad. Maybe we could, hmm. Oh, it's, you know, it's fine. No, it's fine. These need the room because they're gimbling. But the other ones don't really need the room. But yeah, that gives us 12 engines. Yes, that gives us that gives, gives us a little more room to play with. What if we find something weighing about forty ton? That's ten tons. That's forty ton. Then we need a fairing. That's gonna weigh something too, but. We need to try and test how much we can put into orbit. And this one needs to be uh, turned off because it needs to have the weight all the way to orbit. And it should, should be able to. I think we need 4,600 meters per second. I think. 40 tons shouldn't be, shouldn't really be a problem. Let's go clamshell and go clamshell on. Let's go three sides. It almost weighs 600 ton. <laughs> we can actually put a little more in if we want to than 40 ton. Not much though, but let's try and save this. And let's do a test flight, see if we can put that thing in orbit. For 40 ton. That gives a little bit of headroom. So let's actually engage that and just Lift off. Should be, it should only be the four out of one that's moving. I know this Saturn V has like... Uh 